Hello, Alan Steady here with Firewalls.com. In this video, we'll be configuring the admin notifications for the Sophos UTM appliance. The Sophos UTM comes with a notification feature that informs you immediately about all sorts of security relevant events occurring on the UTM, either by email or an SNMP closed trap. However, special SNMP monitoring software is needed to display those traps. All events that might possibly be of interest to an administrator are represented by various error, warnings, and information codes. The notifications that are sent depend on the selections that we configure. Let's go ahead and take a look at the notifications. To configure the notifications, we'll first need to be logged into our web admin of our UTM. Once logged into the web admin, select Management from the menu, followed by Notifications from the submenu. Here on the Global tab, we can configure the sender address or the email address that notifications will be sent from by the UTM. Here we can see by default, this is do not reply at fw-notify.net. However, if you want to change this address, it is advisable to enter an email address of your domain as some mail servers might be configured to check whether a given sender address really exists. In addition, you can specify the recipients of UTM notifications. By default, this is the administrator's email address you had entered during the initial setup. We can also limit notifications. Some security relevant events, such as detected intrusion attempts, will create a lot of notifications, which may quickly clog the notification recipient's email inboxes. For this reason, Sophos UTM has sensible default values to limit the number of notifications sent per hour. If you disable this option, every security relevant event will create a notification provided the event is configured to send a notification. In the device specific text, we can enter a description of the Sophos UTM, for example, its location, which will be displayed in the notification sent. Next, we'll go ahead and check out our notifications tab. This table lets you set email notifications and SNMP trap actions for each notification type. Here we'll see that notifications are divided into three categories. Info, which are merely informational messages such as the restart of a system component. For example, info 000, the system was restarted. Warn, which are warnings about potential problems that need your attention for example exceeding thresholds or in this example warn 005 is a failed web admin login and lastly is CRIT for critical which are messages informing us about critical events that might render the UTM inoperable so in this example we can see that the CRIT 025 our license usage is exceeding 100 percent of our user count on the Sophos UTM which could potentially lead to some users out there being unprotected. And off to our left, next to each warning type, we can select whether we want to send the notification as an email or an SNMP trap. And once you have selected the notifications that you want to receive, just go ahead and select Apply. Next, we'll go ahead and check out the Advanced tab. In the event that your UTM cannot send emails directly, here under the advanced tab we can configure a smart host to send the emails. If you need to configure the smart host, we'll start by selecting the enable button. This will enable our external SMTP server, at which point we'll need to specify our external SMTP server. We can do so either by selecting the browse button and selecting the host which we maybe have already created, or we can go ahead and configure our host on the fly by creating a network definition. Once you've selected your network definition, you can then decide whether or not you want to use TLS. Selecting this checkbox will enforce TLS when sending notification. Note that notifications will not be sent if the smart host does not support TLS. And lastly, we can specify our authentication. So if your smart host does require authentication, you'll want to check this box here and enter in corresponding username and password, followed by apply. And that wraps up notifications on the Sophos UTM. Thanks for your time.